All right, let's look at the radial ulnar joint. And sometimes people confuse the radial ulnar joint and don't think of it as a separate joint and they kind of merge it in with the elbow joint, but it is a separate joint. Um, it, the motion is uh, pronation and supination, which occurs in the transverse plane about a longitudinal axis. So the bones that comprise the radial ulnar joint are the radius and the ulna. This is a very long joint, right? So it starts, it runs the entire length of your forearm. And sometimes it's separated into the proximal radial ulnar joint and the distal radial ulnar joint. The motions that occur, um, as I said, were supination and you think of it as your palms are up and you can hold a bowl of soup or pronation where you see the dorsal side of your hand and you would drop the soup. Um, note that this motion, so here we are in anatomical zero with um, the radius on the thumb side, the ulna on the pinky side, and when you move it is the radius moving over the ulna and the ulna remains stationary. So here you see the ulna is still here and the radius has moved um, over to crisscross the ulna. Here's another view of the ligaments of the radial ulnar joint, which are the annular ligament, and it goes around the radial head. So you can see it here, and in the frontal view, you can see the annular ligament goes around the radial head and helps it articulate with the ulna. We also have the oblique cord, which resists excessive supination running from the radius to the ulna. Looking at the movement, again, it's the transverse plane movement. We call it pronation and supination. Um, you can get about 80 to 90 degrees of pronation and about 70 to 80 degrees of supination. And a lot of people will do that from neutral. So kind of holding um, your something, maybe a pencil in your palm and, and gripping it. And then you measure either pronation or supination. And again, we can see that it is the ulna that stays stationary and the radius moves over the ulna in pronation. This is a nice image because it's showing you kind of a cross section through the motion um, or through the joint. And so we can see that we have our fixed um, ulna and the radius rolls over the ulna when you're going through pronation. And you can see here, it's the radial notch of the ulna um, articulates with the, quote, spinning radial head. This is how it would look on a real live person. So pronation, your palms are down, and supination, your palm is up, and you can hold the soup.